Welcome to the Empire, buddy. This is Rampage, and welcome back to my Legions of Nagash campaign. We're going to continue. We left off from last time, pushing into. Technically, I guess this is supposed to actually be called like, or where was it? It's supposed to be like the Desolation of Nagash. Oh yeah, there it is. Desolation of Nagash is what this area is called. Um, we're still pushing into the Darklands as we're able to take the Black Fortress. I've already destroyed everything here, so now we seem to get some better graveyards. Start trying to convert this area more, and then also I need some roads for some more movement around here. You guys are going to keep trying to focus on that as we're trying to push away over here with Nagash. He's somewhere. He's right here. Yeah, there we go. Because I think you guys, if I remember correctly, do not have your siege equipment ready. Uh, no. I, I never started constructing siege equipment. That's why. Okay. So let's start getting some siege equipment here. Because I'll have you guys kind of push into this settlement. And then keep going east to try and have you take Crookback Mountain from the Black Orcs. As right now, we're trying to do as much damage as we can to them. At least this force right here. You. I'll wait until... Mm, let's just grab it now. Just just grab it now. I'll have you grab that now. And then we're going to have you keep pushing your way on up to this way. You should be able to easily beat that force down. I would really hope that I can keep getting more zombie dragons around here. Because I can't recruit them normally, actually. Uh, I can't get them anywhere else besides in this area, it seems like. And so I would love to be able to make an army of... Zombie dragons and bone giants. Like, it's full stack of that. As that would be a disgusting force for anybody to face. It's just going to take me a really long time to get anything like that set up. Oh, actually, those that's not going to do anything. That's actually not going to do... Uh, just get the Bliss Towers. No, the Bliss Towers are worthless here. Just get the Karen Stone. Get the Karen Stone. Um, but I know I would love to have an army like that, as it would be absolutely disgusting for anybody to try and take it out. You guys could be in the Council Chambers there. Um, is there anything else I want to build right now? Oh, you guys... Ooh, yeah, Vampire Halls gives us more money and lets me get more Neferata's Handmaiden Bodyguard. I think that's about all we'll grab for now. Because, like, you guys are here, you're fine, you're just defending. You guys are waiting for reinforcements from down south, which you guys are trying to get to Volchaz Peak so that you can just kind of hold that area. Same with you. And then how are we doing up here with Neferata? Can you guys retrain those units yet? Uh, a little bit. I can kind of start retraining around here, which is good. So start doing that. I'm still debating on what is the next city I want to go for around here. I could go for... Um, I thought I had a spy around here. Uh, I could go for around here. That might... I'm not at war with them yet, but that could open up a war with you guys. Or, I know there's like some stuff up here. Actually, I'm going to scout up here. I haven't scouted up here yet. As Just, just hold off there. You can wait until next turn. Um... I almost kind of want to have her focus on the Chaos Dwarves. Finish the Chaos Dwarves off. Oh, hello! Your forces are attacked by an army of Black Orcs. What poor bastards decided to attack me? Uh, Golraz? Ah, oh, you do have some giants in here. Okay, I'll have these guys be controlled by the AI. You're just a bunch of horse archers, and that's your job. This army's not bad, though. This one I don't care about as much, but this army is not bad. So let's kind of push on in here with you guys. You're just going to give me the city. I thank you for this. It'll make it a little bit easier for us instead of having to walk on into the castle. That'll be great. So kill these guys off and then keep making our way over to the east if we don't have to wait too long. Hopefully not. Also, one thing for myself, as I've now been able to finally release my first like Warhammer 3 video as corn. Gives me so much hope that I, I I would love for us to be able to get um, in a gash X pack or sorry DLC um, in that because right now I am loving it. Honestly, right now Warhammer Three is becoming my one of my favorite Total Wars so far. I'm gonna hope that it, like stays uh, if, it, if it just keeps staying like that. That would be awesome because I would love I, I I'm having a lot of fun with this one um, with this campaign right now. But I would love to see that in uh, Total War Warhammer Three where the mechanics do just work a little bit better uh, in the more modern Total War because they've been adding a lot of quality of life stuff which really makes it more fun. So let's have you guys, you should be able to just honestly unload on them as soon as they make your way over here. My giants, I'm probably going to have you guys just immediately walk over here, immediately go for their giant, try and kill him off. You guys are the aggressors, so you should advance on us and I can just unload with you. Yes. You guys just go on to shootout stance and then you guys... Try to focus the Black Orcs. Just to focus wherever you're going to get the most AoE or penetrating shots. Um, oh, actually, maybe we should focus the Destroyers. 
I could have you focus the big ones. No, focus the destroyers. Either or, really. I'm just trying to have you get a bunch of AoE damage. You guys, I'm going to have you just kind of run on up here and try and hit those giants before they get anywhere near my men. Because right now, they've lost 1% already. My giants kind of rush on in here. There you go. And just rushing through them. There you go. But now, focus him down. As soon as this giant's down, we should be pretty set for this battle. Now, let's keep having you focus around here again. There's a bit bigger of a blob around here. Of the forces have died so far. Not bad. Also, you guys guard position, and I forgot to put you guys on guard position as well. I'm gonna bring my cab over this way so I can charge into you. Still 2%. Are always rushing in over here, or no? Not yet. Uh, enemy giants. Oh, they just lost one. So that's lost one of you guys. Come on, get the other two. Because I don't like these destroyers here. These are good units, so I don't want to stay here for very long. A little bit more. You should be able to do a decent amount of AoE damage to them there. Oh, that's uh no one In a gash, uh go punt this fool for deciding to try and attack you. Because this is their captain, isn't it? Yep, that is their captain. Yeah, go punt him. Go punt him in the next week. Giants, how you doing? Um, their giants are all dead. At least it looks like it. So you guys should be able to destroy that unit. And then how's, the, how's the, uh, their captain doing? Their captain is slowly dying. How you doing, Nagash? A little beat up. Let's pull Nagash out of there for now. Oh, they've got their arrow boys over here, too. Oh, that's why. I forgot. That's the reinforcements. Uh, you should actually run up this way, then. I forgot about that. Oh, shit. I lost one of my giants. Okay, those guys are breaking. Um, get over here. Hey, start helping out this area. Where are my fucking horse archers? They're taking their sweet-ass time. I know you guys usually run a little faster if you guys are on defensive, so let's do that. Oh, these guys are breaking. I mean, just how we do number-wise. 7 to 22. Giants. Balanced. Let's get you back over here. Let's try and help you out over here. Take out one of the captains. Yeah, there we go. Now my eyes are moving on a little faster. So you guys go there. Uh, you're not fighting anything. Just gonna have you run on up a little bit and surround, I'd say, this guy. Yeah, surround that guy. Bone giants. Yeah, you're helping out here. Uh, careful there, my mages. Please be careful. Uh, actually, my mages... Uh, yeah, those guys are broken. I want to kind of have you move over here and hit those guys. As that area is actually struggling quite a bit. These areas, not so much. Enemy general's dead. There's Golraz. Golraz is now dead. Uh, Bone Giants, get back over here. I'll have my mages kind of go line up there. Uh, this guy is almost dead. He's at, like, seven guys. The Gash kind of can just chill, honestly. He doesn't have to really do much. Horse archers are now over here, so they should start dying a lot faster. They've already lost half their army. And most of them are now breaking, actually. Oh, there you go. And the army inside the city is already going to break. So I think that's it. I think we just have to run them down. Oh, we do need to get rid of that rock lava. Let's get rid of that, and then I can just have my infantry go on AI commands at this point. Same with the Bone Giants. All that is left is this Rock Lobber for the most part. There you go. Okay, so those guys are now out of the picture. Now we'll have another settlement for us. We're now taking the Lost Peaks. And then hopefully... Uh, did I recover any of my Giants? I should double check that. I don't think I did. No. Damn. You still might have three unit models. Maybe. Depends, because, like, it's it's a little awkward on, like, how many are in each unit model. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three. I could almost at that point. I Although, honestly, what I probably need to just start doing is continuously produce troops like that, continuously send them to the front lines, and always just expect them to die. 
And if they don't, then I just have more of them in my army, which isn't a bad thing. Exterminate them, so that Karaz Azul is now under my control. I am going to need to stay there at least a turn or two to get some more... Oh, um, okay, you guys were sieging me, and then you weren't. Make up your mind. Um, just need to try and get some High Empire. Oh, hello. Yeah, I think the orcs and goblins are definitely going to start trying to push into us now. Now that Rebel Settlement is not there, I think they're going to want to try and attack us. Arkin is almost up here. He's making his way. He can easily push into them. He can keep pushing the front up north. I do need a force to take that Night Goblin Settlement at some point. We've got a lot of stuff over with the Black Orcs. Black Orcs are kind of my top priority right now. Because... Uh, new mission, take settlement, uh, Kedark Eight Peaks. I'm not gonna... Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm nowhere near doing that right now. Um, yeah, because the Black Fortress is siege. That's fine. I've got zombie dragons, you idiots. So you should be fine. Uh, they stopped here. That's good. Um, nobody else around here right now. There's still sieges here. Which, you, kind of move on up here. Wait one second. And then get more crap. Because I think that's what he's... These are the same unit, basically? Yeah, they are. Just fill your army with zombies. So we have a bunch of fodder. And then, hello. Only hello, Zagrub. I, I think you're not going to like me very much. Um, I'll have you just be controlled by the AI, honestly. We've got so many guys. We'd be fine. I'll just slaughter these guys. Get them out of our hair. And then this army can make its way over to try and help the guys of the Black Fortress. Those two can work in tandem... And honestly, maybe I can have them just focus on the Black Orcs. I maybe don't even need to really send Nagash himself all that much. Kind of keep Nagash from me around this mountain region, have him kind of clear this area. Because you guys have zombie dragons now here. I don't actually have to worry as much. Because that's the main thing. Usually my armies are such crap that I have to be like, okay, I need to have something here of actual value. But like right now, I've got the value. I actually have some zombie dragons, which are very useful. For taking out elite units. And then I can just have you guys keep pushing up with all this fodder just to delay them and hold them at bay. Yeah, you guys kind of just run on up there. And then you kind of move on up here. They are shooting us with the archers. That's fine. Also, is that just a giant pyramid? Hmm. Yeah, it kind of is. Okay. That's Because I'll have it so you guys just kind of keep making your way on up forward. Wait until I get some of the zombies up a little closer. Oh, good. They're not like the zombies like in Elder Scrolls sort of War. They're a little bit faster, which is good. Oh, God. That would have been worse. Let's get some big ends. You guys just kind of hold. And then I'll have to have it so that my, so my zombie dragons. You need to find the captain, which is this orc war boy. I'll, I'll have you kind of go around behind them specifically. And then I'll have it so that these guys. We want to surround them. So kind of go back this way. And then, like, you guys. Kind of over off to the side here. Zombie Dragon. I'm going to have you kinda go around, ignore the destroyers, and go specifically hit these archers first. General, how are we doing number-wise? 9 to 13. Okay, that's not bad. They are wavering. But you guys just kind of charge on into the oh, Edda boys, and then I'll try and get you on over here. You guys right here, I need to try and have actually flank and surround. But no, zombie dragons don't stay over there for very long. And then you guys, kind of same thing, kind of run around this way to try and flank them. 20% of the forces are dead so far. Kind of charge into these big ones. And if I can just keep recovering the zombie dragons almost every time for full, that'd be great. Let's see, 25%. How are my allies doing? Are they almost here yet? Oh, they're nowhere near helping us out. I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe some actual useful allies. So you guys gonna run there. Surround this guy. Just get there that way. Zoom the dragons. Go for the Edda boys again. You guys gonna surround there. And there. You also have both this. Because if I can get more than just like one guy, then I can very easily make sure I can surround those guys. And just actually kill them off. Because otherwise they're just gonna kind of run away from us as we start charging them. So you guys are wavering. You're almost about to break. You're shaking. 
Get those zombies on over here. I'm going to get the zombie dragons out one more time. Let's focus down the boar boys, as that is their captain. As soon as he's dead, I think they'll break pretty easily. 18 to 43. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we were able to lure them in here, find us. There you go. There goes the archers. Uh, you guys won't be able to really capture them all that much. No, not really. Yeah, you guys get over here. Surround the destroyers and the big ones. My zombie dragons, at least. Keep getting back over here. I think I can almost leave my allies to you guys, for the most part. So you guys are almost fully surrounded here. So we can get you guys... Oh, your axes are fighting us. Yeah, you guys keep fighting that unit. Zombie dragon. Destroyers. They've got like 80 guys left. They've lost half their army at this point. I haven't killed the general yet. He's right here. He's only got three guys. Get the zombie dragons to run back over there a little bit. You three. Keep moving as destroyer. Zombie dragon. Yeah, try and get rid of those arrow boys. As soon as they're not a nuisance, that'd be useful. Right about there, and then make your way back over here. There he is. Yeah, there he is. Kill him off. He's got two guys left. Oh, sorry, one. As soon as he's dead, I think my infantry, I can just tell you guys all AI command at this point. Start running them down. They've already lost 75%. I just need to get rid of the boar boy, and then they'll break and I think give up. Come on. There he goes. Who's left? Those are broken. Uh, looks like it's just air boys. And they've already lost 78%. Oh, nope. Some of the other guys came back. You guys should break now, though. Your captain is out of the play. picture. 80. Let's get a little bit more. Just so I can get the magic 85. So I want to make sure these guys die. Come on. Zombie dragons are horrendous for running them down, though. I don't know if you're going to be able to do that all that well. Uh, not really. Yeah, it's, it's not the Magic 85, but it's good enough. We'll still destroy a good chunk of this army, and they'll still have to run away. And I didn't even lose any of my zombie dragons, so that's nice. Although technically it went from like 60 to... Yeah, no, still not Because I feel weird that they say on the battle map, on the campaign map, that they start at 10 units, but I only have 6 of them in the, camp in the battle map. It's very strange. Does it be nice if the default unit had like five dragons instead of three? I don't know why that is though. It does the same thing with a gosh. It's only with the dragons. I haven't seen it with any other monstrous type units in this mod. So actually, merge you guys together. Just get some more zombies. And again, I'm gonna bring you guys over this way. Try and help them out there. So that area we've now banned. Um, you guys, yeah, start getting the graveyard. I'll have you stay here for a little bit. And I do think that basically, again, what I'm going to try and do is there will be unit types, like the Bone Giants down here. I'm just going to keep recruiting them and just keep sending them over towards Nikash and as a way to just keep building them up. Because otherwise, slowly but surely, he'd lose his troops and wouldn't actually be able to have them to punish him. Um, Arkin... You're almost there. You're getting there, man. You're almost there. I follow the sweet and then we know Seekor's... It was, and then you guys stopped. For whatever reason. So that's fine, I guess. Um, you guys here... Keep training those dudes there. And then what about you? Because I want to keep... I want to try and see like what they've got for land up here. Because I think I want to focus on the Chaos Wars, possibly. Because if we can kind of clear up this northern area, and then I can kind of focus down south and actually help out with the black orcs with Neferata, that'd be great. Oh, did I just finish that? Um, I did just finish another one of you. Okay, yeah, so just stay there for now. Uh, actually, yes. Just sit there, because then you're free upkeep at least, so you don't cost an arm and a leg right now. Building-wise, um... You guys grab the mausoleum. It lets you have more free upkeep units. So grab that. You guys here, City Hall. You guys here, Seep Gore. Um, better vast graveyards. Need to convert it and have better troop recruitment. Um, and then besides that, I don't have really anything else to build. No, not, not right now, really. So we can kind of hold off on that for the money we have. 
Still just trying to move Nagash and Arkin on up. Arkin's almost into his front. Nagash is going to have to wait a little bit around his area so that he can make sure he can leave that spot. And I probably will have him... Like, I think I should just have him keep focusing on the Black Orcs. You can't kill uh, okay, so they're teaching that. I can send my Horse Archers over that way. Oh, Chaos Dwarves, why are you doing this? You poor, poor bastards. You really should not be a Charactite in the area. Oh, and they're also going to attack Seepcore, too. Well, they have a Death Wish. More so around Seepcore. Is that the tiny army? That's an extremely tiny army. The other one... Oh, hello. The Night Goblins are attacking us again. Oh, and I don't have any good good old boys to decide to just nom on them all. Aw, oh, that's a shame. I might send my horse archers down that way. See if they can deal with the horse around Karag Haraz. That might work. They don't think they'll be able to get past that one to the south, though. Hmm, probably not. Because just siege is everywhere, goddamn. Because, like, right now, so, out of the three, you, you, and where are the, there they are. Out of these three, it is, the Night Goblins are the weakest. So, technically, the Night Goblins would be the easiest militarily to defeat. But I think territorially, they aren't. No, territorially, they only have five regions, actually. Huh, that's actually kind of surprising. Okay. So either way, it'll be kind of a pain to deal with them. Okay, so you guys, you gather them in there. Because I need you to try and make your way up this way. As I'm going to bring these guys over. Try and go right there. So you can kind of support and help out against them. Because you try to attack that army and just sit there. Uh, that is just a normal family member. Not the best army, honestly, though. So just kind of hold off there. Wait until they decide to try and attack. Are they allied or are they war at war with each other? No, they're not allies, so they can't support each other in fights. Okay, so that's good. That is good to know. Arkin, you're still making your way on up this way, man. You're almost there. My thirst drives me on. Let's see. So this force here. Yes. They do have some trolls. Like you guys here. They do have some trolls there as well. Versus dudes together. So I really want to push in here. But I'm not... You guys are not going to be happy for at least a little bit longer until I can get this built up. Um... Because I think I can have it with, like, you guys. Yeah. Basically, I'll actually kind of probably, like, merge this army into one. Because then I can just have it so that both those zombie dragons are in one army. You keep focusing on one dude. Try and focus on the Black Orcs. That way I don't have to have Nagash over here. And I can actually have Nagash again. I think Nagash should focus on this. Like, I actually might have him go for eight weeks, honestly. That would not be the worst idea. Um, you guys down here. Can you get more horse archers yet? No. You can get one. You can get... We can't get one. But you have one already here. So make them go up to Lamia. Honestly, I should recruit these guys whenever I have them available. No matter where they are, getting more generals bodyguards for my faction is extremely useful. So I think I'm gonna do that, because like they're a good unit, even if I just use them as an actual just infantry unit. It's not bad. You guys I will have to sally out of there. Is there anybody else that can just get more of them? Because like honestly, I just I should just keep recruiting more of these guys, like you and you. Anyone else? Also, Black Tower keep getting more uh, of the just bone giants. Because I need to make sure I'm recruiting them and sending them up north as soon as I can, possibly can. They've got another army coming this way, but we should be okay. Now they've got stakes around there. I am not worried about that area whatsoever. Guitar, same thing. Keep getting them. You guys here too, same thing. And then I think that's it. Oh no, you can get some in the Blue Mount Misty Mountain. Okay, so that's it for those guys. And then I wanted to start off with the fights up here first. So let's go with... The prophets have foretold the you guys first. Yeah, that works perfectly. Yep. Go right there. And then you guys sell me out. Uh, I'll control this myself. Don't really need it. Oh. Okay. Uh, still should be okay. 
I actually will need my reinforcements then. That's going to be the army they have coming in to try and attack this. I will definitely need my reinforcements. Because what we're going to do is I'll let them break through the gates, have my one unit try and hold the gates, and then Nefro's handmaid bodyguard will kind of wait until they're actually in the cities and the gates, unload on them and slaughter them all. And then from there, we'll we will have to focus down their giants and hope I can kill them. <laughs> As those giants will do a lot of damage. Uh, you fire at wa will off initially. You guys just kind of, well, just adjust a second. But no. Neferata's handmaiden bodyguard just kind of run on out. Basically wait until they get in range. Or they're, they're going through the gates to start loading on them. Uh, I don't want you to focus on my allies. I want you to focus over here. Ah, that's all want. That is not what I want. Okay. So, we can still do this. Um, I just have to get you guys lined up in a big line here and then just have you just shoot what is lined up here. It's not as efficient, but it's something. So I'll try that. Because those, those Chaos Giants are going to be fun to deal with. Yeah, please try and run on inside the city. That's what I'd rather you guys do, is try and take the fort. Remind of what you're doing. Are you trying to go for the fort, or are you trying to go over this way? One's a lot easier for me to deal with than the other. Don't split your fucking focus, please. As if you guys are going to... Uh, I didn't see many skirmishers in this army, right? No, I saw, like, no skirmishers. Okay, so I want to go up to, like, here first. We want to try and maximize our casualties with the mages. Oh, they're rushing straight at me. Um, I'm hoping you won't aim at the Chaos Giants, please. Unload and just start trying to blob... These guys are blobbed up. So unload, do what you can. Focus them. Just trying to get as much AoE damage as possible. It's not as great as if they were in the gates, but... We'll still be able to get a decent amount of kills. Kind of running out of there. I mean, I have to still win this. Otherwise, you guys, otherwise you guys will, will kill this army. Focus on the Spear Boys. Don't focus on the elite units with the magic. It's not going to do anything. 11%. Not nearly as good as usual. Okay, I am going to have... You guys... Charge that bastard. So you guys kind of cease fire for a second. I want to see if we can get them to line up and start attacking us so I can get some better blobs. Because that was okay. We still killed almost 20% of their forces. But for the most part, I'd rather you kind of come back over this way. You guys just need to try and surround and kill this general of theirs. If we can kill you, we might have a better chance. So I'll save the rest of my ammo until you guys are in a blob. Come on. Go back up over this way. There we go. Some of my guys are getting in position. Almost. Almost. Fight me. Get back here, you bastards. There you go. Okay, now surround him. Police around him. He is losing that. Got to about there. Oh, here comes the giants. <laughs> oh, so what a fun. Okay, can't go over that way. I mean, General is dead. So I have a better chance of breaking them. I'm going to bring this one of you. I need everybody over here. And then I need to hope that you guys line up in a way that I can shoot you. When you're blobbed up. Come on, 20%. Try and run those guys down. They are broken. Okay, kind of go over that way. Fight that. General... I don't know what I'm going to do with you, man. Yeah, that's a good spot right there. We can kind of go to, like, right here. Um, you guys... Try and take those hobgoblins. goblins. They are wavering, which is good. No, they're starting to blob up around you. That's good. So I can line up right about here. And get some good shots. With at least the remnants of my ammo. So kind of right there. And then focus right here. I'll load on them, please. We've got at least one good baller left in here. Yeah, at least the one. Okay, now just run away. No need for you to stay around here. I might have you just run guys down that are wavering. And have routed. Don't fight in melee. Okay, don't lose anybody. Okay, go run those guys down. Oh, they can't. Wait, no, they didn't come back. No, they did. Okay, wait until they're wavering. Then we can focus them down again. 
right now it's 7 to 39. Not the worst. Oh good, you guys took out one of the giants. There you go. Okay, Nephrodus Handmaiden Bodyguard. I'll have you guys kind of just chill back here. I don't need you now at this point. At this point now, it is specifically just trying to focus down their infantry, which at least we've got a pretty good chance. They take, they've lost about half their army. Their giants are starting to die. I've killed one giant for sure. I think we can do this, especially since their general's not down. There we go. Okay, so those guys are at least now out of the way. Did I recover many guys? Uh, a couple, not the most, but not bad. I got a decent amount of kills at least with my. Did I actually not even kill them? No, I just definitely didn't. Did only have like. No, that's true. Okay, well there we go. Those guys are now out of the way. Uh, I will have to get rid of the stuff around Neferata. Which I'm debating whether or not I'm actually going to let them siege a little bit. I could. Because I would like to have them be funneled into a spot to shoot them. Although I do have like two or three Neferata's bodyguard over in that army. And so I can just more than likely destroy them either way. Because XE is. Yes. Then you go back into Silver Binnacle. And then just start retraining your stuff. You can do that. And then let's see, is this army that okay, that army is nearby, so they will join us. Um This is shit. What are you guys doing here? Like, seriously. You've got some hobgoblins. Congratulations. This is an army that I can straight up destroy with just Neferata and her handmaid's bodyguards practically. So I don't know what you guys are trying to do, but sure. Well, to get my infantry to rush on up, at least, initially, so they can get them to just group on up. That way, I can just make the most out of my ammo. This is why I want to try and focus on the canister. So I think it'd be pretty easy for me to do so. Because if I have, like, two units of Handmaiden's Bodyguard, and then some generic fodder infantry units, it's pretty easy for me, actually, to just try and... Funnel them to... Oh, guys, stop. Stop shooting the walls. Um... It'll be pretty easy for me to just focus them down. Slaughter them all. It's only the really elite units I have to worry about, because the Handmaiden's bodyguards are horrendous at trying to focus on their units that, um, like their giants or trolls. Really bad at those. Every other unit, though, is really easy for me to kill. Like, everybody else. So let's have you guys kind of run up here. Cav. I'll have you guys kind of run up. Oh, actually, up the side. Kind of over here. Then the Handmaiden's bodyguard and everybody... Try and there. They did have a couple archers, though. Are they not getting their reinforcements? Oh, no, they are. They're just way, way the fuck over here. They will get on the map, but they're not going to have a fun time whatsoever trying to get on here. Okay, that's fine with me. Uh, you guys, let's see. They are running all the way back here. Are you running all the way to the edge of the map? They might. Because what I want to try and do is I'm going to try and use, like, half my ammo on this army and then half of the ammo on the other army. So, like, you guys just start unloading in here. They're all blobbed up right now, so get a good shot or two in here. There you go. 8% of the forces. Let's stop firing. Wait until they get more blobbed up now. Oh, they're actually already breaking. Uh, never mind. Just run them down then, if that's the case. Bats and everybody... Um, the captain is this guy. Try and get, like, one more shot in on him or something. Try and kill him off. As soon as he breaks, then the rest of the enemy army should all run. Come on, I want to just run them all down. Those guys are still fighting. He has rush on in there. You guys keep running them down. Yeah. Run them down there, and then I think all of you guys can just be dealt with my infantry for now. Uh, Neferata and company. Let's have you guys kind of run back this way. I don't want them to get away. Don't want them to get away, guys. Uh, I'll have it so that we can have Neferata and everybody... Yeah, set up, like, over here. And just, like, shoot them as they're walking into the area. We use up all the rest of our ammo on that. All my other guys right here just keep trying to capture them. Because, let's see, that's about a third of their army. So let's have you guys want to get in position. Dead. Yep. Yeah, because like right here, they're all lining up in the same area. So yeah, they are pretty blobbed up. I will get my infantry to try and make their way on over here. I do need to get uh, my bats to pull a little bit. You guys there. Yeah, so you guys kind of infantry line up generically there. You guys. Yeah, keep trying to run that guy down. 
Nifrata and company, you're almost in position. It's like right about there. A little more. What are you fighting? Oh, there's like one of the ram unit over here. No. Line up here. And then as soon as you're there, now begin firing, please. Because they've got like what a third of their armies dying so far at this point. Um, now 43. And those guys are all breaking. Oh my god. I love my mages. I absolutely love them. There we go. 20 lost. Only 20. Oh my god. That's beautiful. Like, I can't wait. I'm slowly, but surely. I want to see an entire army of just, just Neferata's bodyguards. Like, I want to see an army of just that. I want to see an army of just bone giants. I want to see an army of just zombie dragons. Like, I want to see those doom stacks in this. Because, oh my god, can I do so much damage. Like, I, I would love how, like, one of those would counter the other. Because, again, this army is great for destroying blobs of fodder. Absolutely. Anything with multiple hit points, I don't really do a lot. Well, that, 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 that. That's, like, the only problem. So, uh, you guys here, just start getting some more guys around here to kind of watch over the area. And then I do... I thought I had a spy around here. Besides, like, this one up here. So you guys are scouting about here. Trying to figure out what's going... Oh, there's one city. What do they have in here? Oh, hello. Please, now. Like, how much damage have I been doing to uh, the Chaos Dwarves? I haven't been paying attention to that all that much. Um, let's see. They are... Where are they again on here? Dwarves, Face Chaos. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Yeah, they're those. Militarily, they actually aren't doing that well. They are actually weaker than all of the orcs I'm fighting, actually. So honestly, I think it will be pretty easy. Oh, actually, let me look at their cities. How many do they have for settlements? Territorially, they are rich as shit. They only have uh, four regions. Actually, it would not be that hard to kill them, then. Because here's one. Um, here, I thought I saw a second one. Yeah, there's a second one. There's two. Uh, three is somewhere around here. And there's a fourth one here. So yeah, just those four. Yeah, I, I'm i going to focus on the Chaos Dwarves. Because, like, you guys here... How many more turns do I get another one? Seven more turns, and now I get another Neferatus Handmaid Bodyguard. I kind of want to try... Because oh, this is the thing that concerns me. Is those giants... Oh, actually, who cares? Who cares? Let's just find their family members. Because I know how easy it is to kill with uh, Regicide. So you guys here, uh, can I get more spies? Yes, I can. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get a bunch of spies. Figure out where their faction leader and family members are. And just kill them all off. Because if they only have four cities... There are not many areas their family members could be. So let's like have you stay around here. There isn't one around here. So that's actually... That narrows it down. And if they just have the one guy... Ooh. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Because I, I could have sworn... Um, I killed one before. I believe. Um, let's get some watchtowers around here as well. So I can just kind of see like what's going on in my land. Oh, shit. Yeah, you guys took that. That Night Goblin City is now controlled by the um, Norskins, actually. So it gives me another reason to not go out this way. I will just focus, I'd say, on the Chaos Dwarves. So if we can finish them off, that'll be a lot easier for us to kind of expand and control this area around here. Then we can focus down on just kind of just pincer and, uh, my god, brain. Surround, divide, and conquer the uh, Black, uh, Black Orcs. Because right now, they're the most annoying. Like, I'm not that worried about the Night Goblins. They're so weak. Oh, so weak. Which, I'll just have it some... Uh, Nagash is going to sit there for a little bit. I think you guys just kind of just chill there. Actually, let's try and have you loop around. Let's try and have you go down here. See if you can get to these guys. Try to. Because here... Um, I don't have any dire wolves I can recruit around there. I do have some direwolves around here, though. Let me just have these guys. As for the most part, I think I'm actually kind of safe. Um, let's bring you guys up this way. Try and have you help out with this army there. You guys can do that. 
And then... I'm gonna get the better camera. Let's see, yes. Because the Banshees would be new. Not the worst. Hex Wraiths. Ooh. Those look nice. 18 units, 14 attack, 27 defense, 8 armor, 14 defense skill. They're similar. Okay, so these are similar. The Hex Wraiths are similar to the Kurtors. So they could be very useful. Banshees are not. Screeching just makes enemies. They have a magic attack, though. So that's the thing. They have a magic attack, so not only... Because if I look at the Lich Priests... Lich Priests don't have anything near uh, like that for stats, for melee stats. Oh, no, never mind. They do, actually. Their melee attack is 11. Total defense is 10. The Banshees, though... What was that again for those? Banshees, 20. Okay, so they've got... Okay, they're actually decent in melee. But they do have that missile attack, too. Yeah, no, let's, let's try and grab that. Try and grab that. Interim report, fashion announcements, construction report, recruit report. Okay. I do need to just have you. I shall sweep them aside. Because yeah, I'll have it so that basically. Blood. Oh, who's the better commander? There is not the strength You're the better commander, so I'll have you be the one that's actually going to go about and try and conquer. Uh, let's have you kind of get some watchtowers around here just to it light this area up I a little bit more. Wish. Next area I'd want to go for is over here. So let's have you kind of make your way on over there. Check on and see what's going on with those guys. Because they've got, for the, the Black Orcs, they only have... They've got like eight. Eight or nine, about. Eight or nine. Which is a lot, actually. So they've got like one here. One here. One here. That's three. Do they really have that much land around here? I did not realize the Black Orcs had that much land. Okay, but I still think the best idea is going to be... Neferata is going to be trying to focus on the Chaos Dwarves. Nagash is going to try and conquer the mountains that he's in. And then... Oh, hello. Um, you don't have that best good of an army here, right? No. Um, I don't really need those guys. Also command them myself, so they're not idiots. Go. Because this army is not that great, honestly. My horse archers should be able to do a decent amount of damage. Especially if I can have them use up all their ammo and then try and harass them. Because then I can hopefully break them if I've dealt enough damage by that point. Because I think that's what we'll try and focus on, is just use up all my ammunition initially. Deal as much damage as we can. And then we'll try and focus on um, lining up my infantry and charging them. I think that will do. I agree. Oh, you, you're worthless. Okay. Yeah, because you guys... I'm just going to have like, you guys come over here. You four over here. And then this guy, just run off the map, man. You have three dudes. You cannot do anything. So I'm not going to have you mucking everything up for me, please. So, we'll just have it so that you guys just kind of run up here. For the most part, this is a pretty simple army. They've already lost like 6-7% of their forces. Um, infantry, I will have you guys casually walk down this way. So you can kind of be a anvil for us to hammer against. So just kind of casually walk that way as we just shoot them all to death. Because they've already lost 17, 18. Yeah, they're just slowly dying. Hey, go for my allies. Focus my allies. I don't care about my allies at this point. They're just fodder. 27. Oh, come on. What are you doing? You're just... You, they are going for my allies. They're just ignoring me. Thank you. Yeah, half of you guys are already dead. Um, Orc Boar Biggins are already almost dead. You guys only have like 29 left. You guys keep up. You guys also keep on up. Keep just running alongside them as they're trying to get over to my allies and dying for it. As they've really lost two-thirds of their army at this point. Uh, melee infantry, just kind of line up there, guys. Kind of form on up. We're almost to a point where we're going to have to start charging them anyways. You guys kind of run up there. 70%. Like, they're almost already dead. Will they just die before they even get to my infantry? They might. Are we gonna run out of ammo? Oh, come on. We're almost, they've almost died. Yeah, just don't notice us. Also, make sure that boar boy dies. Don't let him get away, guys. So, let's see. I killed 76% of their forces before they even got into melee. 
Uh, can you guys have a little bit of ammo left? You should. Uh, so please use it, and then we'll start charging you guys in, I'd say. Although, ah, you guys are out of ammo now. If you're out of ammo, just start charging in. Charge along the entire side. Along the entire line. And you too. There we go. And this should hopefully break them all. Because we've already lost 80% of their forces at this point. Oh, come on. Certain. Those guys are counter charging. These guys don't want to give up that easily. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, that's not what I was hoping for. I was hoping that I would charge you and you'd all die. <laughs> but you don't want to die. Okay, pull back. I'll oh, we'll have to get a better charge. Because they've only lost 4% now at this point. They aren't losing that much more. Oh, wait, actually. Kill him. There's three of him. Kill him and then it'll be a lot easier to break them all. Come on. One more for the bodyguard. And there you go. Okay, now... That he's dead. Yeah, now they're breaking. That's what I wanted. Okay, run those guys down there, there, and there. Oh, where are we at right now? We are at 97. I'm gonna... We can just end the battle. Don't need to run them down. So, like, 29 left. Okay. So, there we go. Those guys are safe. Uh, I'll have to make sure I adjust where those horse archer reinforcements are coming. I did accidentally have them go to the coast still, I believe. So, now bring them back up here. Arkin, at least, he's almost here. So we're kind of softening them up, and then he can actually kind of deliver the finishing blow to them and keep pushing through their lands. So he can do that. Nagash, I'm going to have him just sit in that city for a little bit longer, I would say, building it up. Now I wonder if the night goblins are just going to attack immediately too. Because I really like the idea of having armies of... Oh, actually, that's one thing I need to check. The, um... Oh, hello. Um... I might just withdraw for now. I don't have to fight you. Ooh, yeah, I don't want to fight you. And they're gonna attack Ah, uh, damn it. This is an area I didn't want you to attack, because this is gonna be hard for me to hold. We can try it. Probably just gonna have to retake it right Because I don't have the armies that are built, uh, set up right now to try and take out the Night Goblins, at least. The ones that are on the front lines nearby them. Because Night Goblins are really easy to deal with, just like we've been dealing with them up north. They're actually really easy to kill with Neferata's units. As opposed to my normal units that have been bu uh, building a lot of down here. So I think we'll probably lose this, but we'll try at least. Let's try to deployment, everybody off the walls. We'll try and get them just on the ladder. Probably not going to be able to do this. But you guys kind of line up here. Uh, you can get up here for some reason. Why are you being an idiot? Okay, that's fine, I guess. Uh, I can move you down off here, I guess. And you up there. Because I'll have my bats. I'll have you be the one to get them off of everything, because you're the fastest unit I've got. So, start the battle. Rush on up forward. This is sending my captain, too, but you guys don't have morale. Who cares? Uh, careful about that ladder. Get them off the siege tower. Just onto the ladder. And then, uh, get the ram, too. Now, if you guys can, please get the hell out of here. Because I don't want my captain to die. Okay, just run away. Run away, run away, run away, my little bats. Okay. And now, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to kill the trolls, but we'll try. We'll see what we can do at least. The towers might be able to do a decent amount of damage. We can at least keep funneling some more guys in here to try and do what we can. There. Uh, you try and run up there. If anything, I'm hoping we can maybe glitch them on the walls, honestly. I just send guys up here so they stop trying to use the ladder now that they're on the, on the walls. Because if I put in... Oh, they are bringing more guys to the ramp. Fuck. Where's my bat? Oh, there's my general. He's not a bat anymore. He's still screaming like a bat. No, don't die yet. Don't die yet. Keep running. I, I'm going to try with one man. Come on, I need you to thread through here and try and get them off of the ram. You might be able to do this. Go, before they break the gates down. Come no, over here. Go forward. Keep going, keep going. Ignore them. He's dead. <laughs> Shit. Well, 
Uh, it was it was a valiant effort, and it failed, but it was a valiant effort. For some reason, you guys have given up going through the gates. I've killed your general, and we might be able to delay long enough. These guys aren't doing much over here. They are doing a lot over here, but if they don't continue pushing through, I might be able to technically hold. Maybe. They stopped. They slaughtered everything on the walls. And then stopped to realize after they realized, oh, we, we can't get past this gate. There's this impenetrable force field. Your, your general, he did something which does not allow us to proceed. Oh, as they start moving to the very last second. Okay, but hey, held on a little bit longer. That's good. Uh, I need some time around here as, again, the main armies I'm using right now um, are not designed primarily to focus on the night goblins around here. Not, well... Nagash would be fine. Nagash would be fine against them. But at some of my other armies that I have is like just garrisons. They will not do well. And so I'm going to have Nagash. He's going to focus on them, I'd say. I can have him kind of stay around here, secure these mountain ranges, and make sure that the night goblins are kind of secured and dealt with. Um, honestly, I should almost... like How many night goblin generals have I killed? I almost wonder. For the most part... I know the Chaos Dwarves are really close to death to from just killing off their family members. Because I know I've killed a couple of them before. I don't remember how many, but it should only be the original generals they had should matter. Most other generals on the family tree won't fucking matter at all for family members. So it's only I just have to focus on people that say heir or faction leader. That's all I care about. As long as I can get rid of all those, they will die. And so, like, right now... Oh, you need to... Yeah, you need to make your way on over to this army. Grooving up over there. Because you guys here... Yeah, stop by there for now. You guys try and train those. And then this force here. Okay, because like... This force... Okay, I almost should bring this guy back. Because I'm tempted to say... If we go... Because if Nagash attacks you... You'll reinforce and you'll reinforce. But this guy won't. So if I go here, though, if I go back here, Nagash then should be able to attack this army. And I think he can basically win, as Night Goblins are shit. I should be able to slaughter all of these guys, hopefully. And then I can just push my way into Kerak Eight Peaks. This is the thing. They have a, sh a ton of shitty units. That's the thing that they do. So I think that's what we'll do with you guys. Uh, you guys here, let's see, you're still like two turns away. Keep making your way over to the Black Fortress. Yeah, build some watchtowers and your way on over that way. No keep doing that. And then I need to go back to Silver Pinnacle uh, and keep getting more of you guys. I'll keep getting more of the generals and whenever I have them. Agents, um, let's have you yeah, go around there this way. Because I just need to find the other cities that the Chaos Wars have and figure out where the other family members are. So I just don't see any... I, I'll move this guy through, because I don't see any of them around here. So maybe you keep going down south. Go this way. That's just a general. Captain. There's somebody around here somewhere. Let's see, some siege. We know about that. You guys will be fine. I'm not worried at all. I've now... Oh, you have a lot of infantry this time. But I now have stakes this time. I've got my mages in there, so we'll be, we'll be okay there. And then I just... Nope, not yet. Okay. You guys... One, two, three, in there. Okay, I think... I think for the most part, this is probably going to be a pretty good place to end this video for now. We're, we're going to have it so we'll grab another force of zombie dragons here. Like, you guys... These I'll primarily be using you to focus so on enough. the black orcs. I'll be using a Nagash, like, right... In, probably going to start with this battle next turn. I should be able to kill all of you guys and then kind of keep pushing my way over towards uh, Kedark Eight Peaks. Or actually, I should probably push over first towards you guys, actually. Because basically right now, uh, Nagash's are... Ooh, I could get Neferata's handmade bodyguards in Nagash's army. <laughs> Do I need to make it overpowered? Yes. Uh, let's start doing that, but I think this will be probably a pretty good place to end this video for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign and any thoughts you have on it in general. But this is Rampane. I'll see you guys next time.